Hello out there. This is Holly calling from, well, calling, speaking from uh, her basement. I'm so excited to be able to present to you today the Beginner's Guide to Canva. So I've been using Canva for about two years now. And so I'm going to do my best to, you know, really take it slowly and uh, go step by step for you guys so you can have a good look at uh, getting started with Canva. So we're going to take a look at some of the templates available. Uh, for instance, we're going to take a look at an Instagram template. Oh, hi, everybody. I can see your comments. I'm so excited. Uh, we're going to take a look at a simple two page flyer. And as well, we're going to create a custom size design. Dun, dun, dun. Exciting stuff. So throughout the session, if you have any questions, uh, I won't be able to see them because I'm going to be doing a screen share. So I'll only be able to see my Canva. So April uh, is standing by. Thank you, April. I couldn't have done it without you. She'll try and answer any questions you might have. If we can answer them in the little chat window, then I will go back and um, share with you uh, on Canva your and try and answer your questions best I can. So thanks again, everybody, for joining me today. So excited to have you with me. Wish I could see you in person, but here we are. Um, and let's get started because it is 10.02 and I like to start on time. So let's, oh, I forgot to log out of my Canva. Of course I did. I'm just going to quickly log out here and I'm going to start from scratch. All right. So here's our Canvas screen, canva.com. Many of you have probably already logged on and created your own account already. However, if you haven't, I'm gonna show you how you do that right now. So in the top right corner here, you're just gonna click on sign up. So Canva lets you either sign up with Google, sign up with Facebook, or sign up with email. I'm gonna click on sign up with Google. I'm gonna choose my Royal page. Oh, and it took me right in there. Well, look at that. Isn't that fun? Uh, normally, if you've never logged on before to Canva, it's going to take you through a few steps. It's going to ask you if it's for business or personal or school. Um, it's going to say, are you nonprofit? Are you small business? So you just going to answer a few questions. And as well, it's going to try and get you to sign up for a pro account. Um, it'll give you a th free 30 day trial. Um, just ignore that for now and just uh, go with your free account and play around with that. At any time you can switch over to a trial pro account, but for now, just try your free account and, and see how that goes. So here we are on the main screen of Canva. I'm just gonna give you a quick little walkthrough here. So there's many places throughout here where you're encouraged to create a design. So at the top search bar here, I'm just going to click in here. You can type in anything you can think of and it will bring it up if it exists in Canva. Again, here on the side tab here, create a design. You click here and it's going to give you a drop down menu of all the potential designs you can do. And it's a bit overwhelming. There's a lot of stuff. Like a lot. <laughs> And then again on the main screen here, it's gonna give you example of Instagram posts you can do, Facebook posts you can do, posters, logos, social media, it's really never ending. And as well, Canva's really smart. What it does is it sort of shares with you things that are going on in the world right now that you're gonna to wanna to post about. So as you can see here, um, there's messages to do with, you know, what's going on in the world right now. Um, they had some coronavirus posts here the other day. So yeah, you can see them here. So, so Canva will share kind of what's going on in the world. So it keeps you, makes sure you're sharing content that's, um, that's current. So first thing I want to do with you is we were, we're going to create an Instagram post together. So at the top search bar here, I'm just going to type in Instagram. And it's going to show me all the different posts I can do related to Instagram. So there's Instagram post, Instagram story. It just keeps going. So we're just going to start out with a basic Instagram post that you would share to Instagram. 
Now it does give you a few templates right off the bat, but I'm just gonna start out with a blank template. So I'm just gonna click here where it says blank. And now it takes me to my main design page here. I'm just gonna click back to my share screen here, just one second. Oh, is there an advantage to signing up with Google? I will let, oh, there we go. Thank you, April, much appreciated. So here we are in a design screen. So what I'm gonna show you, basically it applies to any design you do, no matter what the size. Um, this has been sized already for Instagram. So it's really important. If you wanna do an Instagram post, do this Instagram post. Don't go to a Facebook post, don't go to a flyer, because if you try and upload anything but this, it will get cut off and it will not show the full design on Instagram. So really important to choose the correct dimensions that you need. And on the side here, the very first tab you see is templates. So Canva's going to suggest, like I said, uh, things that are sort of happening in the world right now. So of course, we have a coronavirus Instagram post. We have Women's Day, which was a few weeks ago. It's just going to suggest some things that are that are happening right now. But um, what you're going to want to do is figure out, you know, obviously, what do you want to create? So I'm going to just search for, let's search for uh let's search for real estate let's see what they have for real estate so each of these templates is tagged with a certain uh a few different tags so canva has identified these as real estate now there's some here that i don't understand why they've been tagged real estate but that's okay oftentimes you'll have to use your imagination and and sort of look past the content in here and say well hey that could work for something i'm i need to do so so just use a bit of your imagination Right now, we're just gonna work strictly with a, with a nice basic template. So when you hover your mouse over, all you need to do is just choose the design that you like. And I'm just gonna pick a random one, it doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna click on it, and it's gonna put it directly into my design space here. So now, what we need to do, first off, before I move any further, I'm gonna title this design. So along the top purple bar here, this is where the name of your design is gonna go. So you just click into it, and I'm just gonna make up an address name. I like to do Main Street Southwest, and just click out, and that way the template is now saved. Now, the wonderful thing about Canva is it will automatically save every, I don't know how often, five, 10 seconds. So whatever you're working on, you don't need to really worry about going file, save it's, it says here all changes saved so it's nice peace of mind that you can just focus on your design and not have to worry about losing any content so the first thing i want to do is i'm going to upload a photo of the house i want to feature so along the left hand bar here are all the different design tools you have at your disposal along the very bottom i'm going to go to uploads and that's where you upload your photos that you have of your properties and i'm going to go to upload an image or a video and I'm gonna pull up my file that I need to pull up here. And Canva loads it up and it's gonna save it in your folder here. And for the free account, I believe it saves up to one gigabyte. So that's a pretty good, uh, good amount of uh, file space. So here's my exterior of my property and I wanna put it in here. So I'm just gonna click on it. I'm gonna hold the down and I'm gonna drag it all the way over until, boop, there it is, and I'm gonna release my mouse. So as you can see, Canva has applied a filter to this, and it's turned my photo black and white, and I do not want that. I want people to see the actual color of my property. So just click on your photo, and you'll see that it's been highlighted now. It's got the blue bar around it. This white bar here is everything you want to do to your photo. Anything you need to change about your photo is gonna be up here. So I'm gonna to go to Filter, and filter applies a bunch of really cool, funky, different uh, colors. But typically when you're doing a real estate post, do you want people to see what this is actually gonna look like? So I'm gonna click on none. And just click out anywhere in your space here. And there you have it. Now the next thing you wanna do is you're going to change obviously the text here. Now with an Instagram post, I recommend to have as minimal or as little, what am I trying to say here? 
as little text as possible. You really want more graphic than you want words on your Instagram post. You're going to put all the details in into the copy of your, your post. So you can talk about all the details of the house, the price, the, the how to contact you, all that stuff. But on here, you just really want it to keep it really simple. So just hover your mouse over the text box. You're going to click into it. And you can see there's this text box here and there's one below it. And you'll see they're both different fonts and different sizes. So what Canva has done here, these are actually two separate text boxes but Canva has grouped them together. So that's okay for us right now, but if I want to ungroup them while they're highlighted, I go up here to the top and this bar here, this white bar now is for anything related to text. So I'm gonna click ungroup. And now I have two separate boxes. I can click here and I can manipulate this one. I can click on this one and move it around. Now, if you want to regroup your text boxes, click on one, hit your shift key hold it down and click and now you go up and hit group and now they are together again so you need to decide what you want to say here maybe it's just listed maybe you're advertising a virtual open house uh, maybe you're advertising just sold so whatever message you're trying to get across just type it in here so i'm just going to put just listed there we go and then underneath here, these this second text box here, you can put, uh, again, whatever you want to put. Maybe you're going to put in the, the price. I'm just, I don't know what this house is listed for. So let's just make up a number. And if I'm way off, then ha, 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 I'm way off, whatever. There we go. Now let's say you look at that and think, okay, you know, I'm happy with that. Uh, but I just want to change a couple extra things. So let's say I think, well, I want this rectangular bar a little smaller. So just click anywhere in the bar and all of these little grab bars around the side are going to help you reposition your rectangle. Okay. So if you want to bring it up and down, you're going to grab these little um, bars along the top and bottom. So click and just drag it down. Click and drag it up. And if you want to move this whole box down, just click anywhere in the middle of it and simply hold it down and drag it down. Now you'll see that pink bar that just appeared. That's just sort of, I guess Canva's giving me sort of the margins or the frame of that Instagram post, but really you can move it wherever you want to within it. So let's say I just wanna move it down here a bit more. Now, as you can see, my text box needs to be moved as well. So I'm just gonna click on my text box and hold it down and just drag it to where I'm happy. There we go. So let's say now I think, okay, well, my just listed looks good, but my price is really small. I don't like that. So I'm going to ungroup my box now by clicking on my text box and ungroup at the top here. And I'm just going to click off the side here. Now I'm just going to highlight this text box here. Now I have two ways of increasing text size. I can either go up to the top here and uh, click on my drop down menu, and I can increase the text size by choosing a larger number. Another way you can also do it is you can click the little um, draggy toolbar here. See my little uh, mouse changed? And you can click and drag it. And now it's brought it off the rectangle, so I'm just gonna click in the middle here and I'm gonna drag it back over. And watch, there's a pink line there. See it appeared up against the just listed? So that means it's now left aligned to just listed. And so those are the two uh, elements there. You have our text, we have this box, and we've uploaded the photo here. Now, because it's a template provided by Canva, I wouldn't change around too much. I wouldn't start changing the font. I wouldn't start changing too much because they've kind of given you a template that's gonna work um, and, um, and kind of keep the integrity of the design. I will go into another time about how to change color and all that, but for now, this is just more the structure of how to move move things around and adjust and, and that kind of thing. So let's say you're now happy with the size here and you're happy with the size of this box. What you want to do now is you're going to download this design. So because it's an Instagram post, a lot of people like to um, use the Canva app. So when you've designed it on your computer, you can now open up your Canva app.
And you can take this design and upload it directly to your Instagram account from Canva. So it's pretty useful. However, if you want to use your desktop to upload this to Canva, you can do that as well. Um, I'm going to just click on the top right corner here. There's the download button. How would you like to publish it? Well, I'm going to download it. And Canva automatically tells you what you need to download. So it's going to suggest to you the file type. So it knows for Instagram, you're going to need this type of file. So I'm just going to click on download here. And it's always going to give you these sort of things. Hey, sign up for free. No, thank you. Or sign up for pro. We're already free. Duh. So I'm going to really quickly show you Facebook Creator Studio. I know you didn't sign up to watch a Facebook Creator Studio thing, but I'm just going to quickly show you what it looks like in case you haven't used it. It's fabulous and it's a huge time saver. So you literally just Google Facebook Creator Studio and basically it will combine your Instagram and your Facebook pages together. So along the top here is both a Facebook and an Instagram icon. I click on my Instagram icon. I click create post for my Instagram feed. I would type in whatever my caption is. Hey guys. And I'm going to add content here and I'm going to file upload. And there's my design I just did right there. Now, if I scroll down here, I'm also going to post it to the Facebook page. And then when I hit publish, it's going to put it on Instagram and Facebook. So um, if you have yourself a business page on Facebook and a business page on Instagram, you just need to link those two and you can share to both, um, both sites at the same time. So it's super handy. So this is how you would um, post to Instagram from your desktop. However, I'm not going to do that right now because that is a fake post. So let's just get out of here. So I'm all done with this Instagram post. So I'm going to close my top tab here and it's going to take me back to my main, my main Canva page here. So I'm just going to refresh my window here. And along the left bar, you see all your designs. I'm just going to click there. And it's going to show me all of my recent designs that I've been doing. So here's the just listed that I just finished. So let's say you're really happy with that and you want to use that going forward for all of your just listeds. So instead of having to make a new one each time, all you do is hover your mouse over it, click on the top three dots here. And it'll give you a little drop down menu. Just go to the bottom here or go to the top. I'm sorry. Click make a copy. And that's going to instantly make a new copy for you. So now you can uh, do 125 Main Street Southwest. And then to edit this one, you just simply click on it. And it brings you to this design page here. And edit it how you need to edit it. Now, I'm just going to show you one more quick thing with an Instagram post here. I'm going to create design. Instagram post. Another fun thing Canva does is it creates a bunch of um, holiday uh, templates for you. So let's say we, well, we do have Easter coming up. So we're going to, I'm just going to search for Easter here. So there's all of our Easter templates. That's pretty neat. So what you want to do is you're going to hover your mouse over each of them. And in the bottom right corner, as soon as you see the word free, like that one there, you know it's good to go. If it doesn't say free, there is an element in here that you do have to pay for. So my guess is for this one, these branches here are a special clip art that you would have to pay about $1.50 for. So if you love that and you think, yes, I want to use it, you can easily use it. And when you would have downloaded it, it would just ask you for your credit card to charge you for the $1.50. So that's not a problem. But if you really just want to use the free templates, then that's cool too. So again, just go through here until you see the one you like. And then click in the box, double click to fully uh, highlight the text you want to work on. Happy Easter. And the lower box here, I would highlight all text from Holly. You can really just put in whatever text you want. This is fun. But yeah, just have some fun with it. So the point of these templates is just it has everything ready to go for you. 
you that all you need to really do is change out the text and don't have to worry about too much else. So I'm going to close out of that Instagram post. So the next thing I'm going to do is show you a simple two page flyer. So I know right now no one's hosting open houses, but maybe you have goals of doing some more door knocking in the future when this is all over. Uh, I know some realtors um, have been doing door knocking prior to open houses in the past. Maybe this is something you're thinking about doing. Now, I just wanna say as well in our in share drive, we have booklets available about door knocking and hosting open houses. So um, feel free to access those and study up on those if you need to. So a simple two page flyer. When I click on create a design here, I'm gonna click search and I'm just gonna type in flyer. And flyer is basically just eight and a half of an inches uh, letter size standard paper. So here we have it here, as you can see, formatted to letter size. And on my templates here, I'm just gonna click search for templates. I'm gonna just type in Let's say I want to advertise and it's just listed. So I'm going to search for just listed. Let's see what comes up. All right. Well, hey, there's a just listed template right there. And there's also something about tools. Again, sometimes you're given things that you're not really sure about. But again, use your imagination and maybe it'll work for you. So I'm just going to scroll down here. And when you hover over each of these, It'll let you know if it's a one page flyer or a two page flyer. So this one here is just one page. If I go here on the bottom right, you see it goes one of two, two of two, and it goes back and forth and shows you what each of those pages looks like. So this is a one pager. This is a two pager. So just keep scrolling down all through all these templates until you see one you like. And hey, I'm just gonna click on this one because I like it. So here it does, it shows you the pages. You can either do one page at a time, or if you just wanna go with two pages at the same time, you click here, it says apply both pages, and it's immediately gonna both pages in your view. Now at about a 49% view right now, I'm gonna zoom in. So in the bottom right corner here, you click on the percentage here, and I'm gonna go up to 100%, let's see. There we go. And just use your, your slide bar here to move it up and down. All right, now I can see that better. That's much better. <clears throat> so again here, all we're doing is clicking and filling in exactly what we want to say. So let's just say, uh, put in whatever you want to put in. That's listed, 33 Main Street, up west. Now let's put in a watermark here of Realty Elite. I don't want a watermark. I'm just gonna click on it and hit delete on my keyboard, click on it, delete on my keyboard, click delete. There we go. And it says auction here. Maybe I can double click and put, I can put the community name, I can put, um, you can put whatever words you want in there. Let's say you don't want anything. Again, I'm just gonna click delete, click delete. So here's the first front main photo. Let's change that out. So again, we're gonna go to our up here. Here's the house I loaded up earlier. Click and drag it over and drop it right in the frame there. Now I see that there's another filter applied here. So while my click on my photo here, and I'm gonna to go to up to filter here. I click none. There we go, now that looks more like the property I recognize. So I'm gonna scroll down my flyer and I'm just gonna keep clicking in the text boxes that I need to enter. And you're gonna type in the details, details of property. Maybe you could put the community name here. I'm not sure where this is. This is listing if, if you're uh, watching. Is this in Lyalta? No. Lakes of Muirfield? I don't know, I can't remember. Doesn't matter. Anyways, scroll down a bit more. You're gonna type in your little ditty here. So I've added a few check marks here. So again, you would just type in new rooms or bathrooms, uh, large garage, large backyard, dog run. I don't know, I'm just making that up. 
So it's spaced it all out nice and evenly there. So I'm not going to move anything. Around. I'm not going to touch it. Just going to leave it as Canva has intended here. So at the bottom here, it's got a website. I'm going to put polyyoung.com. And again, down here, just going to pull out. And there's your second page. So again, you're just going to go to your uploads. And you're going to upload your photos that you need. You're going to click and drag, drop, click, drag, drop, click, drag, drop, and put your photo in. Obviously, it wouldn't be those ones. I was just throwing in whatever works there. And just edit the text there that you need to edit. Now, to download a flyer, just click on this download arrow at the top here. And it's going to tell you again, PDF print. This is what you're going to want to download. So just click on download. And now to take it to the printer or the office or wherever it needs to go. So there's your flyer. Now, last but not least, I'm going to show you how to do a custom size. So let's say you have a website or you want to design a banner for your matrix reports. Um, but Canva doesn't have a template for that. So you can create a custom size. So create design, and you're going to select custom designs here, or sorry, custom dimensions. So I'm just going to make up a width and a height here. So I'm going to say it's 1,200 pixels by 600 pixels. You see here, it automatically defaults to pixels because most web-based um, designs are going to be in pixels. You can also drop down and choose inches, millimeters, or centimeters. But let's just go with pixels for now. So once you have your dimensions in there, just click Create Design, and Canva's going to create exactly what you need to work with here. Now it's because right away, it's actually going to suggest a few different layouts you can try. So you just scroll down until you see something that works for you. Or again, if there's something particularly in mind, you can let's see if there's anything for real estate. Or you can search for, let's say you're going for a certain color scheme, you can click on blue. Or if you're going, let's see, let's see what summer. So just about themes related to your search terms. So I'm just going to go back to real estate. And when you see a template you like, there's just so many here, it's hard to choose, but I'm just going to pair. I just click there, and again, you just go in and edit the text to what text you want. And you'd probably want to upload your own photo here. I don't think you'd want to use this one for whatever your purposes you have. And then this little guy here, when you click on it, it says remove watermarks. Again, that's a paid element, so this clip art graphic will cost $1.50 or something like that. So, so you can either say, hey, I really like that. You can keep that and just pay the $1.50, or you can just simply delete it and delete that well. So I'm just going to go to uploads here and I'm going to, let's say I really like this kitchen picture and I'm just going to, oh, see that happens sometimes. Sometimes I can drag it in and drop it and it just drops in the middle of your design. That's okay. I'm just going to delete it. I'm going to try again. So click and release once you see it in there. There we go. So maybe I want that kitchen in there. I want this box a little lower. I'm just going to click on the box and I'm just going to shimmy it down. Shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. There you go. So there is a custom template. And again, you're going to want to title it up here. So I'm just going to say website header for Polly. Oops. There we go. And it tells me all changes are saved. Now, if you ever try and exit Canva, saved it's going to give you a little warning message so it's really nice you're never going to be left with a, a line so those are sort of three examples of different size templates i'm just going to give you a quick tour of the main page here i'm just going to hit, I'm going to hit home so along the left toolbar all your designs is going to take you to everything you've created 
Down here, design school. So Canva does have quite a few different tutorials. They're about anywhere from two to five minutes in length. So as you scroll down here, they've got a few different courses. Um, it's pretty cool to check out. I've watched a couple of them. So we sort of see what, uh, what kind of uh, catches your eye. Go back home now. Down here, you're going to see folders. So the free account up to two folders. Folders. Now, I've already created two folders for myself here. One is called print materials and one is called social media. So I'm able to separate out my ones to keep it a little more organized. So how do you move your items into a folder? I'm just going to... That's not where I'm going to go. I'm going to click on all my designs. And hover over your design and and just click on the top right three dots here. Click on move to folder. And I'm going to click on social media. And I'm going to click move here. So it's moved a copy to the folder, but it's also going to keep it in this main all your display as well here. Okay. Now at any time you decide you want to clean out some of these and you think, okay, well, I do not like this one. Right click, or sorry, right click. Click on the dots there all the way to the bottom, move to trash. Again, click on the dots, move to trash. And your trash bin is actually gonna be over here. So if you say, oh no, I didn't mean to delete it, you can go back in here and it will save things for up to 30 days. So, um, I'm just trying to think here. Any questions? Nope. Hmm. I'm just checking here. Hmm. Okay. Well, anyone have any questions here? I just kind of went over a few of the basic templates you can play around with. Um, have fun with it. Like, just go on here, have a look, see what they have available, see what you think you might want to use. We'll scroll through here and think, you know, oh, am I, could I use an invitation for something? Maybe you could create some letterhead, um, a logo, newsletter. There's just so much on here. So just play around. Nothing can really go wrong. <laughs> Sorry, April. <laughs> so it's really, it's really to play around with here. So just have some fun. Set aside some time for yourself. Say, you know, what, I'm going to, you know, set an hour aside just to play, play um, have some fun, put in these templates, just click, put it in there, around, move around, upload your own photos. Um, and yeah, just have fun and, and get creative. And, and see what other people are doing to see what you might want to try out too. So, um, so yeah, that was just a nice span through of Canva. Nothing too fancy because we really can get quite detailed. So I don't want to overwhelm the beginners of our first session here. So April, Holly. Oh, someone said Holly. Oh, <laughs> thanks, Jill. <laughs> uh. Okay, well, I'm going to sign off here. If there's no particular questions, I would just encourage you to get on Canva and play around and have some fun with your free account. Um, I'm going to be doing a session with a few more advanced, with a few more of these elements on the side here because they can get quite detailed. I didn't want to overwhelm everybody all at once. Oh, unless I have anyone yelling at me to look at um, off here. Um, if you have any separate let me know. Oh, how do you get an image that is going into an element box to resize, then you put it in? Oh, I think I know what you're talking about, Chris. Let me show you that real quick here. Okay, I'm going to go back to my Instagram post here. Okay, so let's say here this photo here. Um, if I want to resize this, I'm going to just click and I'm going to drag it over. And let's say 
I really don't want this house here. I don't want it in my image. Shift this whole thing over, but how do I do it without, you know, losing the image entirely here? So I'm just going to position my photo back in here. I'm going to double click. So now you can see my, my changed to this little grabby tool. I'm just going to click on the photo and I'm just going to drag it over. So the game of the photo the same. It just allows me to manipulate the image within that frame. So I'm going to slide it over. So now that house is kind of cut off at the side there. I'm going to release. It's going to click done. There we go. And let's say I want less of the driveway there. I can just click and drag it up. Or if I want to zoom in on this house, I'm going to double click. And I'm going to pull the circle corner here. I'm going to click and I'm going to drag it out. I'm going to reposition this a bit more. I'm going to click and drag this out a bit. Maybe I want to center this a bit more. You can see it gives you those uh, white design grids there. So it's pretty handy to have those. And once I'm happy, click done, just take one more look. And if you're happy with that, then go ahead and download that. Did that make sense? I hope. Yep. Okay. <laughs> and thank you to April. Yes. Thank you, April. You're a huge help to me. I could not have done this without you. So, um, yeah, so that's manipulating an image within within its own uh, frame here. So no more questions. Uh, feel free to just email me personally. Um, uh, if you have any further questions, I can um, try and answer them the best I can. I'm certainly no expert in Canva, but I do like to have fun with it and play around. So um, I'd love to have some fun with you as well. So yay. Um, thanks for watching, everybody. I wish I could see you. I miss you all so much. But hey, uh, when I see you next time, I will give you all a big hug. And anyway, see you at happy hour today, 3 p.m. Woohoo! Alrighty, I'm going to end my live video now. See you soon, guys.